Toward for him. Yeah, made the ball available immediately. So again, it's the well-used boot of Marrero. And it's out. He hasn't missed a single one, has he, Murray? Quickly taken. It's Rocotoco. Rocotoco going clear to the line. Second try for New Zealand. Second try for the Rocket Man. Ten well, points to nil. Well, you could see it opening up, actually. Rocotoco, he started it. The kick went into touch and immediately caught it. He fed McDonald. McDonald drew the man, drew the only player following the kick, I will say. And then Rocafogo, he was away. And he's a hard man to stop. Have a little look at it. Quick throw, drew the man, and Rocafogo off his, off his left, straight through the hole in this. The outside break on the outside. No chance, really. This man's quick. So try number 40 of his international career for Joe Rocafogo. Pushing up towards Jeff Wilson's total of 44 in third place. And Dick Howlett and Christian Cullen ahead of him with 46. Who's to say he won't reach them in this competition? Excellent, Harris. Nick Evans again with the conversion attempt. Wide out. Sounds better. It's a bit better, yeah. Well, you're right, because Rocket Foco, when he's in a try scoring mood, they seem to keep on coming. He's got that sort of look about him at the moment. But he just moves so beautifully to beat a man. It's not a, it's not a sidestep. It's more of a change of direction without, without a change of pace. We remember, of course, back in 2003 in the last World Cup when he totaled 17 tries in a calendar year. Fantastic. So they've changed their kickoff, Portugal. Leonard knocking the ball back, the referee decides. So we have that from the right wing. And again, it's Leonard. And the man making his first start today, in fact, after a number of substitute appearances. Great running by Pedro Leal. Portugal have brought so many players through the seven-a-side circuit, and you can see their style there. Well, that looks like one of them. Yeah, beautifully done. It's over. Now then, can Portugal maintain the possession this time? It's again, is the big centre. Heavy. Hugo Mateos. He's a student at the University of Cork in Munster. They're looking to get some opportunities with Munster this season. Ball rather slow. Driven in by Marlero. Just short. Yeah, it's in the side. Beautiful kickoff. What a take that was by Carvalho. Man who scored that try against Scotland. Good skills. Stationary Luis ball. Pissarra up to support them. The scrum half. Organising things now. Argentinian born. Number nine. Pick up and drive by Gonzalo Uva. The brother of the number eight who plays his rugby at Montpellier just a couple of hours down south from here, turnover. but it's a turnover. So Collins bursting from deep, the skipper. Oh, what a runner, what power. Decides on the kick forward, that's an excellent one. But the minor is done well by Aguilar. No, referee's waiting. I'll tell you what, wow. a scramble behind the Portuguese goal line. Well, Jerry Collins through the centre, superb stuff. Big stride, then he dropped his shoulder, Kabumba, and off he goes. Now he looked, he didn't have support, so he put it ahead with his right. Beautiful little kick, beautifully judged. McDonald Major. Yes, it wasn't placed, Bob. I don't know, I'm sure that was placed on the ground, wasn't it? Oh, well. Rush of blood to the head anyway. I think it was a good idea, though. He looked like he was going to have a go, and then all of a sudden he realised that... Uh, when you get one all-black, you normally get two yes. and three at the yes. same time. Yes, quite, quite. Thank you, New Zealand. So, two tries, two the good so far then for New Zealand in the first 15 minutes of this Let's game. Go. Let's go. But as we would expect, it's a Off plucky old display, isn't it, by the Portuguese? Well, it is, isn't it? I mean, in their first game, they were... There were some great compliments about how much tenacity they showed and determination and just listening to them before the game. This is an historic occasion, they said, for Portuguese rugby. And it is their son, the Portuguese son, and they were going to play to the death. There's no doubt about it, and good on them. 
And they've got a bit of a taste of it now, but they've got a little problem in the scrum. Two tries to nil so far. Perfect position for a third for New Zealand. Loaki at number eight. Immediately, the Portuguese are penalised there for standing up immediately. Correa, the hooker. Not surprisingly, the All Blacks say we'll have another one of those. So Mr White must have said it was dangerous to continue, otherwise he would have played advantage. Yes. Yeah. Again, the feed from Leonard. Again, it's Lawaki at number eight. Again, please, again, it's come up, again, same scrimmage. Once same again, scrimmage. the decision, you're right, Murray is not to penalise, but to ask them to go down again. Yeah, if the guy's standing up, though, I suppose, because there's no danger involved if the players are standing up, you could only say that the scrum is over, I guess. But uh, New Zealand, interesting tactic, isn't it? They um, Obviously, they could launch a, an attack from here, but they're wanting to really put the pressure on the front. Referee White has a check just to see what's going on on this side of the scrum. Ball inside. Gone forward, though. Unusually sloppy, really, for the All Blacks there. And of course, the key to this play is to, yes, it was forward. Key to the number eight play there is to take the ball quickly, is to, to beat your flanker on the outside. Luaki didn't quite do that. He ran across field and he was driven sideways, and the tackle couldn't couldn't get in front of his his um, blindside flanker. So you'd have to say that was great defence again by Portugal, scrambling out of the scrum so far. Okay. Well, it really is a carnival atmosphere, and the Portuguese supporters are really going to enjoy this day. They were in some numbers in San Etienne for the game against Scotland, first of all. Does that surprise you how many are here? There's a lot of them. A lot of them. I'm told there's a lot of Portuguese people, in fact, who live in France. And I think they've all made their way down to Lyon for this game. Again, their skipper has done the sensible thing, taking the ball up. Morinello, the number seven. Also looking to uh, work its way back. Good looking kick again, and once more, McDonald takes it quickly. Joyava this time. Be a little greasy out there, maybe. Anyway, decision is the penalty. I don't think it's greasy. I think he just lost his feet. No, it's in beautiful condition. I mean, it just couldn't be better conditions for the game of rugby at the moment hot hard and fast I've got you I've got you again now he's coming and going so in other words isolation that time was the penalty well, Toyaba was isolated no support and held on so it's been a pretty entertaining start to this game as we would have expected in the beautiful sunshine in Lyon Yao Correra into the line out again untidy ball that's the last thing they need Morinello covering like a good flanker should tiny little man for a back row forward just five foot eight of him oh, he got back